everybody. I'm Miss Marie. And I'm Miss W. And this is the way we look to your children. <laughs> but here's how we look in real life. And we wanted to talk to you about our class schedule and some other things about class. So first of all, the full day kids will come at eight and they'll play in the classroom. And then at 8.30, the morning kids will come and they'll play in the classroom for like 10 minutes and then we'll go outside. And we'll come back to our classroom and have circle time. And then we'll have snack and then we'll play in our classroom, my favorite part. And they'll get their diapers changed and then we'll um, get back in the buggies and go back outside again. Then we'll come back to the classroom and we'll have our second circle time, which is our Jesus time. And then the morning children will get picked up. And meanwhile, the, the afternoon children will be going to the bathroom and getting their hands washed and then they'll have lunch. And then they'll go down for a nap. And when they wake up, they'll go to the bathroom again and they'll play for a few minutes and then we'll have um, snack again and a story and then they'll go outside. So if you um, come to pick up your full day children before 4.30, we'll be in the classroom, but after that, we'll be outside. And please let us know if you're gonna pick up early. Yes, like if you're gonna pick up during nap, we'll need to know that. So now we wanna tell you a little bit about our curriculum. And so first of all, at every circle time, we do zoophonics and the zoophonics cards look like this. And every week we'll learn um, like four letters. And so they'll, they'll get to the end pretty soon and then we'll just cover all the letters. And if you go onto our curriculum, onto our website under curriculum, you'll see the letters, the animals and the sounds that they make and the motions. Because like for letter A, we'll go like this, a, 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 the letter A. Um, and then we also teach your children colors. Every month we'll do a color of the month. We start out with red and the colors kind of match what's happening during the month. So then in October, it'll be orange for pumpkins and in um, November it'll be brown for leaves. We also teach your children shapes. So by the end of the year, they know all their basic shapes and they'll know oval and the cross and flowers as well and hearts and things like that. Um, and then we also teach them counting. We have them, we teach them to count up to five. And if everyone's really good at that, then we'll go on to 10. And we also do a um, art skill every month. So um, when you look at the lesson planning, you'll see kind of a repeat of, every, of what that art skill is. You'll be able to tell what it is for the month because we're gonna be doing a lot of whatever it is. And then, um, at Jesus time, we're going to be using the Bible that your child received. And we're going to start at the beginning, and every week we'll have a new Bible story. And so we'll post that on the lesson plan, what page that story is on, so you can read it to your child at home. One of our most important duties is to um, get your children potty trained. So a lot of you have already done that, and we're really, really surprised. And congratulations to you guys. But we're here to support any potty training that you're doing, and we'll start potty training um, in January, or if your child's ready before that, we'll do it before that. And basically how it works is you can use the potty training book that we gave you and train them in three days, or we can take the long method, which is where we start out putting them on the potty when they go the back, when we change their diaper, and then once they start going in the potty, we'll ask you to move them to pull-ups. And once they're um, been dry in pull-ups for two weeks, then we move them into training pants. And once they've been dry in training pants for two weeks, then they're officially potty trained. This is what's gonna happen if we have to shut down during COVID. We're gonna give you a packet of art projects, uh, two weeks worth, and we'll put the instructions for those on Facebook. And we'll also read a story every day on Facebook. And we'll do a Zoom meeting, which is very short, like a three minute Zoom meeting every day. And then I'm gonna turn it over to Mrs. W and she's gonna tell you some things. So regarding birthdays, every child gets the chance to celebrate their birthday in class with their peers. Uh, we, our procedure is that we would appreciate to talk to you about a month in advance and talk to you when the child's birthday is coming up. And you're welcome to bring a treat. Um, it can be things like mini cupcakes, fruit snacks, birthday treats. Sometimes people bring cookies, um, anything that you consider like a little treat that would be a fun birthday treat. 
And with that, each child will receive a birthday crown and will be posted on Facebook as a happy birthday so that their friends can see. And we will eat the snack that you guys like bring during snack time. Regarding party days, um, for like holidays, like our Christmas party or Valentine's Day party, uh, we will need help with supplies for that and preparing. And we will message you uh, with ways that you can help us. With communication, Facebook and Brightwheel are ways to communicate with us. Uh, our preferred method of communication is Brightwheel. That is the best way and the way you will get the most, like the fastest response from us. However, Facebook is very helpful and we use it to talk about when when we close down, that's where we'll find a lot of our stuff. And we also use it to post and show you what's going on in the classroom since due to COVID, you guys aren't allowed in. We will often post pictures of our bulletin boards that are on the walls and sometimes of the kids doing things like videos and stuff. We want to invite you to a special service that we're having on September 12th at 6 p.m. It's um, a family worship service and we're going to bless all the preschool teachers and all the preschool children. And I think they're going to ask, I could be wrong about this, but I think they're going to ask everyone to come up all the children and with their backpacks and they're gonna get a blessing. Um, and, and following that, I wanted to talk about those family worship services. I went to one last week. It was really wonderful. It was geared for children. Everyone was really happy and excited and passionate. The children were um, asked to come up and act out the story and it was all spontaneous, No, no, nothing planned. And that's what I love about kids. They're spontaneous and they're not afraid to try something new. And they all had fun. And I think I heard the message in the morning. It was the same message in the evening, but it was geared down to a child's level. And to me, it was much more meaningful. Um, and I just really encourage you, if you're looking for a place to worship and you wanna do um, something fun and bring your kids, this is a great place to do that. Um, there's also child care and that child care is going to be in our classroom so if you have older children and they want to come then you, and you but you're worried about your little ones you can bring them here to the classroom this classroom and then mrs w has some more things to say about yes. it the service is a really good opportunity to meet with other parents and to socialize with other families in the church um, it's also like miss marie said it's very family friendly um, it is very geared toward kids, and that's what this is all about, is to get kids active in the church and to show them that church is very fun and that it can be fun. And then it's the, the one I went to was led by one of the teachers, like they would lead chapel times, so it gives you a good idea what chapel's like. She led us through the music and all the hand motions, and it was just wonderful. So anyway, we hope that you, um, if you have any questions, you're just going to ask us when we see you next week. And we're so excited to start this new year with you. Uh-huh. It's wonderful. See ya.